Hello everybody, in this Keyshot demo, I would like to show a process of creating an amateur animation similar to the one that is uh, being shown on screen now. Okay, let's start. Okay, I'm bringing in a Rhino file. Okay, uh, this is the structure that we want to animate. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is to rename the individual uh, components to something uh, that is uh, more meaningful. Okay, so um, let's click on this and for the red part, I think I will name it as uh, arm1. And this uh, cylinder, I will want to call it a pivot one. Okay, and for this uh, blue blue part, I want to call it uh, arm two. And correspondingly, the green cylinder, I call it as a uh, pivot two. Okay, we're done with the re renaming. Okay, so I think we can proceed to do our first uh, animation. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to animate the entire structure uh, to have it rotate uh, upwards. Okay, so you can click on the animation wizard, select rotation. Next. Okay, um, we want to select the amateur. Okay, we shouldn't be selecting any of the sub-components uh, because we're animating the entire structure. Okay, so select amateur, click uh, next. And then uh, for the pivot point, you must uh, pick uh, this uh, cylinder. Okay, so click pick, and it's actually uh, pivot one. Okay, and let's uh, scrub the timeline to see whether we are getting a correct uh, result. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, so uh, the problem here is that we have yet to set uh, the axis to the correct one. So let's set to Y and scrub again okay notice uh the axis is correct unfortunately the direction is not so you can go to the degree and give a negative value okay and yep the animation is uh, rotating in the correct direction now okay uh, you might want to like tweak the time setting over here the start, the end, or the duration, but I think I'll just leave it uh, as it is, okay? So click the finish, okay? So uh, this is the first um, portion, okay? So now, um, the next thing I want to do is to animate this uh, portion here, okay? And click on the animation wizard, and we do the rotation again. This time around, I need to set it the model to animate to arm two, okay? Arm arm two, okay. Click next, and just like what we did previously, we must uh, set the pivot point, and the pivot point in our case is uh, this uh, green cylinder, which is our uh, pivot two, okay? Click that, and you can scrub the timeline. And you can see that the rotation is not, not correct. Okay. Um, this is because the axis, we need to set axis as well. So let's set axis to Y. Okay. Now, yeah, we are getting the correct rotation. And you might want to change the degree to your desired angle. Uh, okay. Okay. So this is uh, closer to what, what I want. And can also move your animation along the timeline to determine is a uh, start at the end okay so I'm going to click the finish okay so this is a uh, more like what, what I want okay and now I'm going to do another uh, animation which is to have uh, the red arm swing towards us okay so I can click animation wizard 
quotation click next okay um how to take note you shouldn't select the arm one because uh by doing so um we might not get the desirable uh, result because uh arm two might not respond in the way that uh is uh, as expected so instead what we need to do is to select the amateur the main structure as our model to animate okay then click next and okay let's scrub okay notice that the direction is wrong okay um so we must set axis and okay so uh just now we use y so it cannot be y so let's click set okay okay that's a problem here um that's because we have not uh set the pivot point so again click the pivot point and set it to pivot one okay set pivot one okay and let's uh, scrub this again yeah but um the direction is uh, not correct so uh, let's change the degree give it a negative value okay not easy bro. okay yeah yeah so the animation is uh, moving the uh, correct direction and you can also set the the time set setting okay so like uh you can maybe i'll set this to, to okay then uh in the motion easing you have things like li linear uh ease in ease out so these are like different modes of animating it so linear means uh the the motion is uh is uh constant throughout okay the the speed okay so got ease in ease out so i think i will just use uh ease in okay and yeah you can see that yep now um we have uh more or less what 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 we want so you can uh preview the animation by clicking on the play uh, as mentioned you can also move each individual animation onto uh new locations on the timeline okay Okay, assuming that um, we have uh, we found our animation and we have uh, set the, the image uh, aspect ratio and so on and so forth and the material as well and you want to proceed to do your final uh, rendering for the animation. Uh, to do that, you have to go to the render on the menu and then click render but very importantly we should not uh, select render at the still image section instead we must go to the animation section to define our parameters before we click the render okay so here is where you might want to set the resolution and you notice that the resolution setting is uh, uh the aspect ratio is a uh, already fixed for example let's say uh 800 over here if i if i uh set it to let's say uh 1006 you notice that the height also correspondingly uh gets uh double okay so because uh the aspect ratio has been set uh at the project image section here okay yeah so uh you could do uh be aware of this and then you can also define your video out output okay uh setting as well as your frame out output if you do not want frame output you can deselect this and then you have formats okay so you got mp4 avi and stuff like that okay and i think uh yeah in gen in general these are the main uh, parameters okay so once you're done with this you can click the uh, render but i'm not going to do that okay yeah so i think with that i come to the end of this demo hope that's been useful see you around bye